Are you excited about this season? Yeah, I'm really excited about what Budapest will bring, you know. Uh, the past years have been challenging for me in different ways, but you know, God grace He gives us always the power and strength to continue, even if someone sometimes you want to give up. But um, last year was also challenging because I changed coach as I get um, an inflammation in my shoulder. My season was really not bad, really. I finished, I think, seven in the world champ in the 100. I had to drop the 200 because I was not even ready to remove my shoulder. But then, as I say, God grace, he made me have an African record again after in Monaco. So I knew that this year will have been good. Um, I put at work and I wanted to start my season in January, like in Indoors. I started and I get injured also in my ankle, so I had to stop for two months. But then after two months, I come back and in May I do 10.78. I was like, oh, it's the first time that I do 10.78, like easy like that. So I knew that will have been good. So I hope to stay healthy. I hope to um, stay consistent and I stay to not really um, perform um, as fast because I don't want to do 10, 10, 60 now yeah. and then Budapest <laughs> is is a flop. So I'm just going to be consistent and I hope to just take every competition as a training to perform and to master what I have to master and to fix what we have to fix before Budapest. So are you doubling in Budapest? Yeah, sure. One this year I'm, do I'm doubling. Like I miss doubling one champ last so year. So what are you? What are your targets in the two events? Uh, well, first to go on the 22 in 200 and the 100, my coach, no, I don't want to say it, but we will see. The result will speak by myself in Budapest. Yeah. Okay, so let's just go to next year. Because uh -huh. because of the African Games that move yeah. to next year, yeah. and then there's Olympic next year, yeah. it's a bit of a loaded calendar for you. Uh, Are yes. you going to skip the African Games? With the I don't know. We um, discuss with my coach because we don't know. When I was speaking with president just now, he was telling me that um, the African Games move to April or May. May, May March. so March. No, no. But we'll see. I'll discuss with my coach and we'll decide. If in March I'm okay, I will like. You know, I like to compete for Africa. I like to. We have to, uh, like. Uh, also, you know, there's also the indoors. Indoors. I don't. I will not do indoors. I don't think that I will do indoors. But yeah, everything to promote African track and field. I will do. You know, because we are. We need to <laughs> to put African track and field like up like European track and field. So, yeah, that's what we've been doing also yeah. in Atlanta, Africa for yeah, yeah. 18 so, years now. So, so yeah. If, it's um, for us to get more support from yeah, the confederation yeah. and, uh, let's so everything to do to promote it i will do it i will speak to my coach i will tell him okay this is the program and we'll move from there